Well, the last time the Vegas Golden Knights closed out a playoff series, the team hoisted a Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history last year. Now going back to back in the NHL is one of the toughest tasks in pro sports, and VGK can't pull it off. In Game 7 of this first round, Vegas leaving this ice in Dallas eliminated, falling to the Stars 2-1, to one, ending their one-year run atop the mountain in the NHL. The Stars strike first when Wyatt Johnston sneaks it past Aiden Hill in the first, Dallas taking an early 1-0 lead. That score sticks until late in the second when the Knights answer with a goal of their own. In transition, William Carlson finds Michael Amadio up the ice, the perfect dish to Brett Howden, the tip in, and Vegas is finally on the board. Howden's first goal of the postseason ties this thing up, heading into the final period of this series decider. But things go south quick out of the intermission. 44 seconds into the frame, Dallas answers and nets one on Hill. The Knights back in a one-score hole, and they'd have the rest of the period to try to score on Jake Ottinger, but the Stars goalie was on a heater that the Knights couldn't ice. Vegas couldn't take advantage of their first and only power play opportunity, and with an empty net in the final minute, it's bombs away, but the Knights can't get one to go. VGK season ends with a 2-1 loss to Dallas in a series where the margin of error was razor thin but it doesn't make the gut punch feel any better. We didn't get it done. Like I said, I'm proud of the group. A lot of guys uh, uh, helped us get here. Um, and disappointed, though. Uh, it's one of those teams that you felt like you could have gone on a, on, a, on a pretty big run with. I mean, that's on us as players to find a way up to nothing to get the job done. So we made mistakes along the way, but credit to them. I mean, they had a good season, too. They got good players, but you're right. I don't think anyone in this room ever thought we weren't going to have an opportunity to win. And uh, maybe tonight, I thought we played a pretty good game. It's a 2 1 game. Lucky bounce there in the last school. Nine guys. That's a lot of surgeries in one year for guys to overcome and to find your game. And if we could have built it a little bit better in March and April, maybe it's a little smoother in the playoff round, but that's the hand you're dealt. And um, we need to be one goal better at the end of the day. That's it. That's it. We need to be one goal better. Uh, and we weren't tonight. Entering the third period, these teams had each scored 14 goals on the series, excluding empty netters. Just an incredibly even series that went the distance until the final frame when Vegas fell short. But there are still things to be proud of. After holding the league's best record in the fall, the team endured a season riddled by injuries and challenges gaining chemistry with midseason acquisitions, ultimately pushing the one seed of the West to the brink. I guess if you regret one thing, we would have liked to have gotten a game at home there. Uh, Games three and four, um, but at the end of the day, we gave ourselves a, a chance in game seven to win the series. Uh, it's a very good hockey team. And I'm proud of the team. Uh, we battled a ton of adversity, a lot of injuries again. Unfortunately, they had a hard time staying healthy. A lot of our top guys are out. We, we did give ourselves a chance to win the series. So obviously, we're one goal, uh, you know, one goal loss in game seven against, like I said, the top top team in the conference. So um, that's disappointing. That's uh, really the only way to say it. it's disappointing. You know, we weren't giving up much. They weren't scoring much. They got a few fortunate bounces along the way. They made some good plays, but I think both teams played well defensively. Um, and all the, you know, our two goalies and their goalie played well too. So it's just, it's just two good teams going at it. Very proud of the group. Um, great resiliency. Um, as we said last year, it hurts to win, and it was, you know, it does hurt to win. And, and we showed out, just not quite one goal away from from accomplishing that. So much anticipation leading up to this game seven, but ultimately it is a tough way for VGK to end their season. Now the problem for this team in the playoffs was not inside the crease as Aiden Hill and Logan Thompson both did their part from game one through game four for LT and game five through game seven for Aiden Hill. But instead, the team would admit that their Achilles heel through this series was on offense and it was evident from their performance tonight, only putting one goal up against Jake Ottinger and these stars. Now, this locker room has a sour taste in their mouth, and we don't know who all will be back in the locker room next season. But one thing's for sure, this loss having them motivated to get back to the top ASAP. I'm probably not going to be able to bring everyone back. Uh, it's just the nature of, of hockey, so um, you know, it kind of brings tears to your eyes when you uh, realize that uh, you're not going to be with the, the same group of guys because uh, you build these bonds, you build these friendships, and um, then you got to you know, see teammates and friends go, but um, man, I really thought we could have uh, done some damage uh, uh, going forward. Um, you know, I'm sure Dallas wasn't thrilled to play us in the first round either, so um, they're happy to be moving on. And 
uh, it's disappointing, but uh, I guess for our organization, fuel the fire. Uh, we'll be ready for September to uh, be right back here uh, next season. Um, you know, I have no doubt in my mind that we're going to be right back here um, in 12 months, getting ready to go. Uh, uh, but the work starts. Uh, you know, obviously, we're going to take some time off, reflect on it. Uh, uh, but the work starts. Um, we got a dedicated group of guys. Last year was the most fun, I think. <clears throat> All of us have had ever playing the game of hockey, uh, playing in this league for sure. Um, we want to get back there. Uh, it's not easy uh, to repeat. Uh, doesn't happen often. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we believe that uh, we should be c competing for the Stanley Cup every year. Well, I don't think you go into the season without that expectation. I don't think uh, the organization builds a roster without that expectation. So. We demand that from each other, and uh, we'll get back to work. You know, use this feeling uh, to kind of fuel uh, fuel the fire uh, to put our team back uh, with an opportunity to, uh, to get where we were last year. Um, people say it's addicting, and it is. Uh, I think, you know, I live for this shit. I think most of us do, right? Um, as a hockey player, uh, this is the most fun time uh, that you're ever going to play having or playing hockey. Uh, you want to be competing uh, for the Stanley Cup. Um, so when you do lose and you you get eliminated, it's it's hard. Um, you know, it kind of crushes your your soul for you know a couple of days, and um, you know seeing the next round start, it, it sucks. So, um, but yeah, we've always been good at having a chip on our shoulder. Uh, so we got to use this as a, as another chip. The longer you play, the more you appreciate the people. You obviously like playing the game, but it's the people that make them fun coming to work every day. So um, that's an unfortunate part of the business, but there's a lot of good people in here that uh, obviously we'd love to keep everybody together. Yeah. Bill Foley promised that this team would bring Vegas a Stanley Cup title in just six years, and that came to fruition. But in the Golden Knights' sixth season, making playoffs in just seven years as a franchise, VGK cannot repeat, but instead fall to the Dallas Stars 2-1 to one on this ice behind me, not capturing that same magic that allowed last year's Cup run to happen. And as the team adequately put on social media, not our night, not our year. From American Airlines Center, I'm Nick Walters.